Hi, I wanted to show you what the uh, planning uh, that we do uh, for every patient that comes in with crooked teeth. What actually planning, the planning that actually happens to make your smile happen. Uh, you may have heard of clear aligners like Invisalign, like Clear Correct. They're just the they're just a set of plastic or like a plastic retainer that covers the teeth. It's really up to the doctor, in this case the orthodontist, to move your teeth. So I wanted to show you a series of plans that we generated for a patient to show you that how uh, it benefited her and by example how this can also benefit you. So this is someone with crooked teeth. Uh, on the upper and lower she had some uh, gaps here and she had a quite small upper uh, front teeth, the second teeth on the front, in this case this one here and also this one here. So the first plan that came back from uh, aligners uh, was one that involved 17 plates as you can see here. So we have a video that moves the teeth. Now often this video may not be realistic so it's really up to the orthodontist um, here to make sure that the movements here and, and his knowledge of teeth moving to make sure that these movements are realistic. So wherever you got it here, it came out with a plan of an upper space, leaving an upper space of about almost two millimeters on one side. So we knew that wasn't very acceptable for uh, this girl having space on one side, not having space on the other. Um, another plan that we went through here um, was by leaving some space on either sides. So you can see here we've got space on either sides. So this is another plan that came back. And you can see that in this case here, we've got 44 plates versus 17, 17 sets of plates on the one early on. So there's quite a difference for the same teeth, for the same starting teeth. Okay. Um, so we know that from, from my conversations, from our consultation with this uh, adult patient, she didn't want to have any um, uh, false teeth afterwards here, which this plan would commit her to having some future dental veneers done on these uh, teeth to fill up the spaces. So we did one final plan requesting certain movements. And you can see over here on the right hand column are all these movements that were requested from uh, in this case from Invisalign. So it comes back and the final plan that we have here is in this case it's number uh, number three okay so we had a, a few rev revisions and in this plan you can see in both sides here we've got no spaces at the end so and we've got a series of 17 plates okay um, so again if we play through the movements you can see at the end outcome over here okay this is the final outcome here okay we've got no gaps and the gaps are closed and we have straight teeth um, we have a tool here that allows me to plan these movements so it's a super it allows to, uh, to superimpose the before and after and by looking at these then I can determine how to how the teeth moves and what what tools I need to do to help to support these and looking at these the before and after um, and from my experience uh, I can see that this is actually a very realistic movement so overall the benefit for this uh, uh, patient was she could now have her teeth straightened and the gaps close um, without needing any uh, future dental work or veneers on these small teeth which the other plans would otherwise have or if the first plan that came back um, and we approved that it wouldn't lead to a gap uh, some gaps in her teeth which will not be happy so that is the main benefit and this is uh, by showing you this I want to show you that it's really up to the doctor that moves the teeth not Invisalign and not not um, or any other teeth moving companies